Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to apply the displacement map filter in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by activating the crop tool and setting the ratio to 16 by 9. Hit enter twice to commit your changes. Click on image in the top menu and choose image size. Set the resolution to 300 and height to 720. I'm going to use these values for all the images in this tutorial. Click on image in the top menu and choose black and white in the adjustments drop down. Click OK to accept the default values. Go to the filter menu and choose Gaussian blur from the blur drop down. Pick a radius value of around 8 pixels. Click on File in the top menu and choose Save As. Change the format to Photoshop and rename the file to Map. I'm going to save this file in my Downloads folder. Next, open the Texture file in Photoshop. Click on Image in the top menu and choose 90 degree clockwise under Image Rotation. Activate the Crop tool and change the ratio to 16 by 9. Hit enter twice to commit your changes. Click on image in the top menu and choose image size. Change the resolution to 300 and height to 720. Next, click on filter in the top menu and choose displace from the distort dropdown. With stretch to fit and wrap around selected, enter 30 for horizontal and vertical scale. Click OK and open the map.psd file. Our displacement map is now ready. Let's open the original image of the car in a separate tab. Use the crop tool to set the ratio of 16 by 9. Next, change the resolution to 300 and height to 720. Now create a brand new layer and go back to the previous tab. Click on select in the top menu and choose all. Use the Ctrl or Command C shortcut to copy this and paste it in the new layer. Change the blend mode of this layer to subtract. Turn off the visibility of this layer and activate the background layer. Click on the quick selection tool in the toolbar and then hit select subject. Now activate layer 1 and hit the add layer mask button. With the layer mask selected, Make sure the foreground color is set to black. Use the brush tool to paint over any areas where you don't want the texture to be applied. Reduce the opacity of this layer to around 5%. Create a brand new layer and rename it to Logo. Use the foreground color picker to pick a bright yellow color. Using the brush tool, slowly paint over the logo. Now change the opacity of layer 1 back to 100%. Bring in a Curves Adjustment layer and change the Blend Mode to Screen. Reduce the Opacity to 50% and bring the Curves line up a bit in the Highlights area and down a bit in the Shadows area to improve contrast. Finally, let's look at the Before and After images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.